Okay, now I'm going to answer this question, which asks us to show that the lines y equals 2, open brackets, 3 plus x, close brackets, and y minus 2x equals 10 are parallel. And I'm going to do that by substituting in values for x and y, which will tell us where the, uh, the lines cross the axes. So I'll start with the first one. If I substitute in a value of x which is 0, that will tell us whereabouts this line cuts through the y-axis. Okay, That's because uh, the y-axis is x equals 0 because it cuts through the, the x-axis at 0. It'll tell us where the, the value is on there. Also, if we take out that the x there, just by covering up. Okay, it tells us what the, the value of y is when x is 0. Okay, so do it the formal way and substitute in. So y equals 2 times 3 plus nothing. Okay, so y equals 2 times 3, y equals 6. Okay, that means that on the y axis, okay, where x equals 0, on the y axis, the y coordinate is y is is six even. So I've got a point there which is zero six. Remembering that the x coordinate comes before the y coordinate. Similarly, if I want to find out where the line cuts through the x-axis, I need to substitute in a value of y of zero. Okay, and that's because the x-axis cuts through the y-axis at zero. So we need to find out what the value of x is when y is 0. So I'll just write the equation again. And this time we're substituting in 0 for y. Okay, so 0 equals 0. Quite appalling writing there. Uh, so 0 equals 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2x. So 2x plus 6 is nothing. Uh, easy way of solving that. Uh, if 6 plus 2x is nothing, then 2x must be equal to minus 6, because 6 plus minus 6 is nothing. So 2x equals minus 6. That means that x equals minus 3. And we can use that to generate another set of coordinates. The x coordinate is minus 3. And because we're substituting in a 0 for y, the y coordinate is 0. Okay, so we've now got a pair of coordinates 0, 6, minus 3, 0. And we go on to plot those. So 0, 6 was our point on the y axis. Plot that. And minus 3, 0 is our point on the x axis. And that goes there. I'm going to join those up with a straight line. And I'm going to label that graph. And I'm going to do the same thing for the second line. So, sort of land there. Uh, y minus 2x equals 10. Again, I'm going to substitute in the value of 0 for x to find our value on the, on the y-axis. So, y take away... 2 times nothing equals 10. Well, 2 times nothing is nothing, so y equals 10. So y take away nothing is 10, so y must equal 10. So that gives us our point. We've already agreed that the x-coordinate is 0 because we're on the y-axis. We've got the point 0, 10. Uh, now we're going to substitute in a value of 0 for y because we're, we're finding out where the line crosses the x-axis, which is also the line y equals 0. So I'm not going to rewrite the equation, I'm just going to substitute in 0 take away 2x equals 10. So minus 2x equals 10. Uh, divide minus 2x by 2, we've got minus x, divide 10 by 2, 
we've got 5, minus x is 5, so x equals minus 5. Okay, so that gives us a set of points, minus 5, 0. Okay, and if we plot those, minus 5, 0 is there, and 0, 10 is there. And there we go. You can quite clearly see that the lines are parallel.